Here's our familiar architecture of a database management system, and it's been useful for us to get a sense of how to go ahead and build a database management system from scratch, but that raises the question of how do we use a database management system? Well, those of us who are programmers might respond, well, if you need to use a database management system, all you need to do is use SQL, and we already know our SQL queries, so we've learned this already. And someone who's been out in the field a little bit longer might respond to that with a little bit of a snarky comment, which is, yeah, it's nice you can write your SQL queries if someone's already gone ahead and defined your schema for you and set up the database. And again, those of us who have been in school studying computer science might respond, well, come on, how hard could that be? You're just defining some tables and columns, right? It can't be that big a deal. To which anyone who's actually worked with databases in the field will respond with a certain amount of frustration. So one of the goals of today's lecture then is to not talk about how to design a database management system, but to talk about how to design a database. And that's going to be something that turns out to require quite a lot of thought and uh, is actually subtle in a number of ways.